concussion lawsuit against the Illinois High School Association filed back in November and amended in January has gained renewed interest this week after the IHSA has publicly condemned the suit's proposed measures. The suit aims to require the courts to oversee increased medical attention to the 50,000 football players statewide, which the IHSA claims could force some schools to nix football altogether. The high school athletics governing body cites excessive costs for schools and safety measures already put in place as the primary reasons for not supporting the proposals in the suit. First a Big Ten title, then a national title game appearance, then a player of the year award. What more could former Bennett Red Wing Frank Kaminsky ask for? How about his jersey number being retired by his alma mater? Nico Hefflinger has more from B.A. Bennett Academy has had a lot of reason for celebration this year and they had a bit more reason to celebrate today as Bennett held a special ceremony for Lyle's very own Frank Kaminsky. The 2015 NCAA College Basketball Player of the Year received yet another incredible milestone in his return home. We are pleased to announce that your jersey number 44 will be permanently retired here at Bennett Academy. Not only will his jersey forever hang from the rafters of Bennett Academy, but today will always hold a special place for the Lyle native. I, the Mayor of Lyle, declare April 16, 2015, Frank Kaminsky Day in the village of Lyle. Reporting from Bennett Academy, I'm Nico Hefflinger. High school spring sports are now in full swing as the weather has perked up, and this week has brought plenty of lacrosse and tennis action. We start with Bennett and Central Girls Lacrosse, the bout marking the first game on the Red Hawks schedule to not get canceled. First half of a high scoring affair, Central claiming the 6-3 lead at intermission. Second half belongs to the goalkeepers. Maggie Hennert stops a bevy of shots, but it's Mackenzie Coyne and Central which puts a halt on the goal scoring. Red Hawks win 7-4. York visiting Naperville North in a showdown of unbeaten crews. North draws even at three in the first half, but York goes on an extended run from there. Huskies make it interesting late, but run out of time, 12-10 the final. Severe Kathuri and Wabonzi Valley playing host to Naperville North in a tennis match. Kathuri coming off an appearance downstate in 2014. North gets off the bus seeing doubles. Huskies claiming all six of them. Warriors get some points back behind Kathuri and company in the three singles, but drop the match overall 6-3. Finally, we head to Bennett as the Red Wings square off with the Wildcats of Niqua. Envy's number one single, Brett Myers, with an impressive display against Bennett's number one, Pete Menabach, for the 6-2, 6-3 win. Niqua claims both single matches. Bennett sneaks in two double match victories, but the Wildcats take the 6-2 overall victory. North Central Athletic programs are certainly no stranger to rankings, especially so this spring season. The men's track and field team is the number four team in the latest outdoor rankings, while the women's team checks in at number 12. Meanwhile, the Cardinals softball team's 21-1 record has held it steady at number 10 nationally. Our last stop takes us to Benedetti Worley Stadium as the North Central women's lacrosse team takes its eight-game hot streak into a battle with CCIW rival Carthage. A pair of game-tying goals keeps the contest close early, but Carthage gets some separation from Madison Griffin and her three-goal night. Cardinals rally to close within two, but time expires, and the Cards' win streak is snapped at eight. They're now 9-2 on the year, 3-1 in conference play.